Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to look at the 10 most common functions used in PyTorch. So let's get started. So first we need to import torch, so import torch and the first one is going to be from numpy. So this is a very common function that we used and uh, let me show you how we use it. So let's say we have, we again have to import numpy for that, so numpy as np. So let's say we have got an array. We say arr equal to np dot array and then we will define a simple array. Let's say 1 comma 2 comma 3 and if we want to change this into a PyTorch tensor, what we need to do is we need to say torch dot from numpy and then pass this array and we can call it tr1. So if you run this particular cell, you can see you, if you print tr1, you are going to get a tensor. So you had a numpy array, from that you convert it into a tensor. So the second one that we have is something like this. And what it does is basically it increases the dimensions wherever the none is there, after all the dimensions. For example, if you have let's say something as torch dot, if you have something let's say arr equal to np dot array and let's say you have um, three elements or a matrix of six elements let's say so let's say one two three and then you also have another row in this one so which you can say four five and six so if you print arr what you're going to get is you're going to get a two dimension uh, a matrix two plus three now if you want to convert this into a three dimensional or add one dimension in the start or in the end you can do that by saying first convert it into tensor so torch dot from numpy and then you convert it into a tensor let's call it tr2 and when you print the shape of this you should get a two dimensional tensor you can say two comma three now if you want to increase the shape of this what you can do is let's say from two comma three from two comma three we want to make it as 1 comma 2 comma 3 or you can make it something like um, 2 comma 3 comma 1 so for doing this case 1 comma 2 comma 3 what you can do is basically you can take the tensor which is tr2 and then say none and three dots and then let's if you look at the shape of this you will have 1 comma 2 comma 3 which means this was there originally you have added a single dimension in this star so if you want to do the reverse what you can do is just change the shape of this triple dot so and now what you will see is that the one is appended at the last so this was number two now number three is squeeze it's actually the reverse so let's say if you have something like um, two comma th three comma one this one will change it to two comma three or if you have something like um, something like uh, one comma two comma one comma one then it is going to change it to just two comma okay so wherever there is a one it will remove it so if you want to see this you can say let's say you are having this um, tr2 itself or um, let's say you are just making tr okay you just assume tr2 because we have um, let's add on dimension so we will say tr2 and then add a none and this call let call let's call it tr2 itself so if you say tr2 you have a three dimensional so if i print shape you see it. now if i want to do a squeeze what i have to say s q u e e z e so what it will do it will remove all the one dimensions so this was adding a one dimension this is removing another the dimension mostly used in image processing cases so if you do that you can see the shape has been 2 comma 3 which is the one that we expect now the fourth one is going to be something v stack and h stack so let's assume some uh, let's do this one so let's say four and we are trying to get some random numbers because this is a very important otherwise i have to define array one one all of the time so what we are going to do is this is going to be a fourth function we, this function is rand n toss dot rand n so what this does is basically it samples from the normal distribution gives you random numbers so for that you need torch dot rand n and then let's say you want something like um, 8 cross 4 and let's call it tr4 tr4 
okay so if you print tr4 what you will get is 8 cross 4 matrix so you see 8 rows and 4 columns so the fourth function that we are going to have is is h stack and v stack so let's assume two arrays so let's call t1 let's say it is torch dot tensor and this is how you assume an array let's say 1 comma 2 comma 3 and then you copy this and make another array call it t2 and then change the numbers so instead of 1 2 3 we are going to have 4 comma 5 comma 6 okay so to do an h stack what we need to do is we need to say torch dot h stack h stack and then pass these two tensors t1 comma t2 so once you do this you will see that it is stacked horizontally which means t and the t1 tensor 1 2 3 and then stacked it with t2 tensor 4 5 6 now there is another one it's called v stack so we'll say torch dot v stack and then what we are going to do is we are again going to pass t1 and t2 so what we are going to get is we are going to get a matrix that is the first row will be 1 2 3 and the second row will be 4 comma 5 comma 6 there is also h stack uh, there is also uh, d stack which i will cover in some other video because or you can try it for yourself the next one is going to be and this is going to be used so many times this is going it is going to be called the fifth one is going to be called zeros or ones zeros or ones so what you do here is in order to make something like a 1 comma 1 comma 1 1 a tensor like that what you can do is say torch dot ones and then pass in the shape let's say you want five of them so if you print this you get five ones however if you want zeros you can just do like this torch dot zeros and the same shape the reason for this is it's mostly used when you have something like a one um, one class classification because uh, or you obviously there is no one class classification but you want to make labels where you only need to have ones for example right now i was using in faster rcnn and master rcnn so in there i had to say that zero is background and rest everything because there are only one class which is people it is one so in the, those cases this comes in use sometimes even in image processing it comes in use okay so the number six is going to be rand int so number six number number six is going to be rand int and this is actually very simple what it does is basically gives you a random number so let's say you need to say uh, you need to do rand int and then give a high that's one give a uh, give a low that's one give a high let's say 10 and what kind of a shape you want so this is uh, all the numbers that will be generated will be starting from one and one will be included and all the numbers will range between one and ten and ten will not be included but one will be and let's say we want in in the shape of five comma four and if you print it you'll get a matrix that is five cross four that is five rows and four columns and all the values are between one and ten with ten excluded and one included now the seventh one that we are going to have is arrange what it does is basically it helps us give a range of values so we said torch dot arrange and let's say we give 10 so what we will get is a range from 0 to 9 which is 0 to uh, 0 to 10 which is 0 up to 9 so what we are going to get is this thing here now the next one is going to be reshape and this is also widely used if you want to use it however i don't use it so many times so let's say you just have um 5 into 4 values okay 5 into 4 that's 20 values so 0 to 19 and you want to reshape in the 5 comma 4 matrix 5 comma 4 matrix and if you print it this way you will have all the values 0 1 2 3 4 5 6, all to 19 but reshaped in the form of 5 comma 4 5 cross 4 matrix now the eighth one that we are going to have is reshape which is already shown out here so i actually showed it to you the reshape one now after that we have something called as min and then we'll do max so min is also very very simple let's say you have a random uh, initialized matrix of size 6 comma 3 so we'll print it over here and let's call it temp or temporary fine so we can print temp here and let's say you want to find the maximum of this so you can say torch dot max and then pass in temp 
so you will get the maximum that is 1.94 where is 1.94 here over here this is the max now let's say you want to print the minimum of this which is the last function so tos dot min and you pass in temp and then you will get minus 1.3 957 so these are the top 10 most common functions that i use in pytorch however this reshape and arrange this arrange one i have been using lately however these are the top 10 functions that i mostly use so thank you very much